Hello there, people who have access to the internet. My name. Uh, I messed it up. I was trying to do. I was trying to do everywhere. Whatever. Hello there, people who have access to the internet who are currently seeing to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer. And I figured that. Um, I figured that. Uh, you know. October, October's right around the corner, um, it's like two months away from the time of filming, and, uh, and I, I'm just super hyped, uh, that we're getting a new Mario game, so I figured that, uh, that we could play through an old Mario game. Yes, that's right, we are playing Super Mario Bros. for the NES! Um... So, uh, I've had some practice with this since my last Let's Play. I now know how to get the how to, how to get the mushroom. And, uh, I now know that you can, uh, I, I've heard about the secret that you can, uh, you can go down this pipe. And, uh, when you come down here, uh, you get coins. And, uh, I didn't realize that this would be a secret finding game where you'd have to, like, find the secret, you know, pipe down over there to progress to, like, get to the, you know, the end of the level because it's just impossible to get past the enemies otherwise, you know. But, uh, it's okay. We have, we have a couple more lives. Um, and it gave us the checkpoint, uh, which actually might have screwed us over more, but, uh, we'll manage. Um, and I remember there's this star here, which... Um, you just need to run straight forward and, you know, and just keep running straight. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. We have, we have one more life, one more life, uh, to do whatever we want with. Um, and we can grab the mushroom and we can just jump over all the enemies, uh, they made this game really hard back in the 80s, you know? Um, but, uh, but, uh, wait. I, I haven't gotten this part before, uh, what's over here? Is that, is that the end? Is that the end? It's the end! I did it! I, be I beat it! I beat Mario! I beat the Super Mario Bros! Oh my god, I did it! I did it! Oh my god! Yes! What? What, what, what does the two... Two, what? What's going... Th there's a two. What? 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 There's more? What? Why? What? Why? Why is there... No, 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 no. No, why? 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 Why is there... Why is there more? Who made this stupid game? No, screw it! No, we're not doing this! No! No! Why? Why me? Why? In all seriousness, um, we are not playing Super Mario Bros. to prepare for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We are instead playing new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, mostly because I, this was one of the games that I originally, when making my channel, was like, I'd love to play this on the channel, and I know that if I waited until after Mario Bros. Wonder comes out, then, uh, this game would get overshadowed very, um, very quickly. I didn't mean to talk so long that we went into the cutscene. Can I, can I get back to the main menu? Yeah, um... But also, hello there, people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer, and that means that I've actually done, like, the, uh, the intro twice and a half this time through? I mean, I, 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 I don't know. Anyway, so, we're gonna play New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, we're gonna choose file number one, uh, because I'm the only one playing. And, uh... We can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, Toadette, or Nabbit. Toadette is the new new character for this game. It's really an easy-er mode, and then Nabbit's easy-ist mode. Uh, we're not going to play as those, because that takes away any fun from the game. Actually, it doesn't take away all the fun, but it just more so the fun from watching me play this one player per, you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, instead, uh, I think... I don't want to play as Mario. It's like when you play a Mario game, do you really want to play as Mario? Eh. Maybe for the sake of the let's play we can. 
Um, you know what? It's called New Super Mario. I hope... I'm pretty sure that in Mario Wonder, I'll have my chance to play as Ala Gold and Buckenberry. Um, so I think I'll play as Mario here. Um, let's -a play! Anyway. Um, so, it's a, it's a glorious tea party at Peach's Castle like any other. Except, exclamation point! Is it exclamation point or exclamation mark? Hold on. I've heard it both. It's like... Or maybe there's specifically the point of the egg. Oh, also Bowser's here. Um, he's a giant hand. And... Mind the princess, mind the princess, and then crush them. Then crush them. And we're throwing our heroes all the way across the Mushroom Kingdom, I think. It, it's hard to tell. Is there any consistency with, like, the Mushroom Kingdom versus other lands that we explore? In traditional Mario games, we have, like, worlds 1 through 8. But then in, like, the 3D games, we have, like, different, you know places to adventure, you know, that are specifically named sometimes, and that are outside the Mushroom Kingdom specifically, and in the RPGs too. But like, when we go through Worlds 1 through 8 in like a traditional Mario game, is it all the Mushroom Kingdom? Because like, if you just look at this map, that's Peach's Castle. So I guess that's part of the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, and then... Yeah, I guess I would say that we're outside the Mushroom Kingdom. Um, mostly because, uh, sure, we're still in a grassland, but instead of using the hills, it used, like, the jagged rock stuff. And there aren't any mushrooms that I can see. Um, but here we are, Acorn Plains. Let's not waste any more time, and, uh, menu, change controller, star coins, quick save... Okay, uh, items, don't have any, just double checking, map view, we can come back to that later. Okay, now, after wasting more time, let's not waste any more time to go to Acorn Plains 1, Acorn Plains Way. Alright. Uh, here we go. So, as with any 1-1, we have to stomp on Goombas and, uh, new power-up of the game, the Super Acorn. Um, at this point, most people probably know what this does, but what it does is it gives you more aerial mobility through the form of gliding, um, and boosting, which allows you to, you know, get higher. Also, it improves your spin jump, um, I don't know if it improves just the height or if it even improves, improves the height, or if it's floatiness, I can never remember. And, like, I literally, the first thing I did was grab this thing, so I can't actually compare it to spin jumping without it, but... That's what it does. It improves the spin jump in some way that I think I've forgotten. Anyway, here's Star Coin 2. Um, now, I'm not speedrunning this game, but I'm not making an effort to point out every little detail as I go along um, in this game. Uh, this is going to be more of an average-paced casual run. Um... Where it's more like, eh, I'm just gonna kind of play however I feel like. I'm not gonna, like, get super detailed, not gonna play super fast. Although I will be playing really fast. Um, like, I plan to try and beat stages, like, in, you know, two minutes or less. Um, most of the time. As we get into later stages, even I forget some of the Star Coin locations. Um... And while we're at it, I don't think I'm ever going to be playing New Soup 2, um, We Eat Soup, or, uh, New Soup. So, uh, I think instead, uh, I think instead, yeah, I think it's definitely Spin Jump Height. Um, so I think I'll summarize my thoughts about the New Soup series, uh, here. Um, and I'll tell you something. New Soup, um... Like, what do I want to say? Yeah, You Eat Soup is probably my favorite of the new Soup series. Um, followed, um, followed probably by We Eat Soup, and then New Soup 2, and then New Soup. Um, and the reason this one is my favorite is I think it has, like, one of the better level designs, and I think graphically it also just pops in a way that the others don't. 
Um, so, there's that. Um, and then I think I prefer Wii Eat Soup because the levels feel much bigger and they feel more involved. Though I will say New Soup 2 also has its moments, but it does feel a fair amount shorter, especially when you're not going through the bonus worlds on your way to the final battle. Um, and even if you are, eh. Uh, I don't know. And then a regular new soup is just... Similarly, it's just like an... For me, I just think the level design isn't quite as interesting as you eat soup or we eat soup or new soup too. Um... Oh, yeah. Mario time! Um... But... You know, so I think you eat soup is probably, uh... My favorite of the new soups. Um... I don't think... I think it's really just also just like... Since they're so similar, this one wins because it's most recent and has the best graphical quality. Um, anyway, Tilted Tunnel. Uh... And also it has actual names for the levels. The other new soup games don't have that. Um... I think... I think Super Mario World has actual level names. Um... Yeah, I think that's right. Um, but I forget if... Th I know 3D World has level names, but I forget if 3D Land has level names. I don't think it does. I think it's... Uh, and I hope in Mario... And it seems like in Wonder, um, we're also going to be having level names, which is good. And I think it helps the levels feel more meaningful and impactful and just helps the design everything stick together better. Um, because, you know, it, it gives the level a sense of identity outside of grassland, cave, you know. Another reason is the, uh, you eat soup caves, um, sometimes have the, like, crystals, and I think the caves in you eat soup just generally have more stuff in them. Um... I swore there was a red ring when you go down that slide, unless that's later in the level. It might be. Um, I don't need the checkpoint particularly, but I don't want to die and regret not getting it. Um, that's fire still, not ice. Yeah, okay. Make sure you don't shoot this Koopa with a fireball, and you use it instead to hit the vine. Uh... I'm, as of recording this, I'm kind of going, making stuff as I, up as I go in that, in the sense that I don't know how long I plan to, for episodes to be, and how much I plan to cover in any individual episode, um, but what I do know is that I am going for 100%, which is me coming up here and, uh, getting this secret exit. Um, almost every 1-2 in Mario history has a secret exit, with the exception of, I know for sure Mario Bros. 3 doesn't have one, Super Mario World doesn't have one. Otherwise, I think, yeah, every Mario 1-2 has a secret exit. And I was one away from the bonus reward. Uh, dang it. One second on the clock, that is. Anyway, um... So, the secret exit in 1-2 in this case allows you to skip to World 5, as it tends to do in, um, in, uh, Mari, in We Eat Soup. We Eat Soup also has, um, the secret exit in... No, in Wii Eat Soup, there wasn't a secret exit in 1-2. It was in 1-3. Right, okay. Um, I could go back and get the last star coin now, but since I have to do that if I plan to go back to that level anyway, let's just head here. Um, I, there's no debate about whether I should do this as part of World, you know, as like a separate secret levels episode or not, because it's labeled as Acorn Plains, so I'm doing it as part of Acorn Plains. Um... Anyway, um, 
And actually, in 3D Land, um, the secret exit in 1-2 takes you to World 2, and in 3D World, it also takes you to World 2, um, I believe. Actually, I haven't played 3D Land in a while. Um, the main reason I don't plan on ever covering Wii Soup New Soup 2 or uh, New Soup is because I only have a Switch capture card and I just don't have an expansive enough library of games to uh, set up for Wii. Um, I honestly don't know if the capture card I have works for just Switch or also works for the Wii or something, but even still, um, <clears throat> even if I did check that, I probably wouldn't cover them, because again, Mario Wonder's coming out soon, and just, uh, I could cover them later, but, like, really, who's in the market for, you know, new soup, or, you know, wheat soup, or whatever, you know, anyway, like, I, the only reason I'm doing you eat soup is just because, um, just because, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, Mario Wonder is coming out soon, and I thought, ah, I want to play through this game again to get experience in before, you know, new Mario games come out. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'll record it for my channel just because I need something to fill, uh, slots, and I wouldn't be able to get, like, anything close to, you know, I mean, maybe people would be like, oh, new Mario game come out, so maybe I should go and check out the old Mario games, I don't know. I don't know how people work. All I know is that, uh, yeah, pretty much no chance of Wii Soup, New Soup, or New Soup 2 ever happening on the channel. Um, but not to worry, though, because, uh, I'm definitely covering, um, Wonder when it comes out. Uh, um, just because it's a game that, like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, man, I have to cover that, um... You know. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, that was the secret, um, secret level of Acorn Plains. Uh, and... Honestly, Pikmin 4 was, like, one of my most anticipated games, but because it was a game that I had knew nothing about... Well, I knew stuff about it from, like, trailers, but I mean, like, it was a blind Let's Play. Um, and it was also a very strategic game... It made it hard for me to really give, you know, consistently just talking to the audience commentary. Um, <clears throat> you know, versus this game, which I've played through tons, and, like, I can beat an entire level without mentioning anything that's happening in the level. Um, anyway, back to Tilted Tunnel. Um, and... Yeah, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if I get through the entirety of Acorn Plains in one episode. Uh, just because I know this game really well. Um. But. Um. I wouldn't say I'm, like, the absolute best at this game. I mean, I'm not the best, but I mean, I wouldn't say I know everything about this game. But I do know, um, a good chunk of various extra secrets beyond even the normal secrets. Um. Anyway. Oops. Didn't mean to hit the trigger. Uh. Where are we going? Uh, checkpoint. I don't need to go back down there again. I have plenty of coins. Um. Yeah, I really hope and wonder, uh, that coins have purpose again. Um. I mean, that would just be something nice to have. Um. Um. Yeah, I'm really excited for Wonder um, and how it'll shake up the Mario formula. I'm also excited to have a chance to play as uh, Peach again. And um, Daisy's a nice addition. It's like about time she got in a mainline game. But I wonder if they're going to have anyone else, because right now we have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi, question mark, um, a la gold, and Buck and Berry, question mark, confirmed. Um, so, 
<clears throat> yeah. Um, I highly doubt we're gonna see Rosalina, Waluigi, or Wario. And so, I don't really think there's anyone else that I personally think Nintendo would be like, Yeah, we should include that in the next Mario game. Um, oh, and we have Toadette. Toadette's also been confirmed, and I don't think they're going to make her play differently from uh, the, anyone else. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Uh, I personally don't think that's going to happen. I think... Uh, it's a pretty safe bet to say Toda is probably just gonna play like a normal character. Um, I normally don't use the Toad Houses, but since this is a Let's Play, I guess I should, you know, show off the game mechanics and whatever. Anyway, but it sucks because you get a Super Crown, but if you're not playing as Toadette, you can't use it, so, um, you know, it's just really not... Um, not my favorite thing ever. Uh, I really wish they gave you, like, even just a Fire Flower or something else that wasn't Super Crown. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I could play as Toadette later. Um, anyway. Here we are. Crushing Cog's Tower. It's a good time! Yeah, my Mar Mario impression needs work. Uh. Anyway, at the beginning, the cogs cannot crush you, but, um, there we are. Uh, but, um, like, yeah, they'll just push me up. But, uh, dry bones, you know, can't kill them with fire, you have to use ice. Is there an ice flower in here? I think there is, yeah. Um... Cogs as elevators. It's really fun. The one thing about doing the series super fast is just like a time filler type deal. Um, is that it diminishes the amount of puns I can make. Because I can't individually say, oh, you know, crushing Cogs Tower, you know, uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I can't say, like, you know, um, cogs, you know, like, the cogs are turning, or some pun, I usually take a couple minutes to figure them out and don't make them up on the spot, um, this part, and uh, use them as part of the episode title, but, you know, I can't really do that as much, um, I probably am gonna have to name the episodes after the worlds, I mean, you'll know by the time, uh, comes out, because I plan to record in enough batches, um, that I can get a good sense of how to, or I plan to record in batches so I can get a good sense of how, uh, how I'm actually structuring these episodes. Um, so it's interesting that I would like to wonder out loud, you know, how am I going to structure these episodes when literally only time will tell and you, the viewer, um, someone who has access to the internet already knows how I'm structuring these episodes. You know, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I always tend to go slow on Crushing Cog's Tower just because I like to hit every block and stuff. You know, anyway, this is the last star coin, and this is a one up. And then you don't even have to do the platforming if you know how to wall jump. Anyway, uh, fire is technically better for Boom Boom since it actually damages him, where meanwhile he doesn't even get fully frozen. But, <clears throat> um, no point in giving up the Ice Flower just because, uh, Boom Boom dies pretty much instantly anyway. Um. Anyway, he's already two hits, and, uh, there goes the Mad Lad. Um, <clears throat> but, like, n wow, I, I can't believe that, like, the Boom Boom being the Mad Land is something that just came from, like, a quick comment that an announcer narrator person made in the Nintendo Direct about Super Mario Maker 2. 
Like, that's where that came from, but it feels like it's a label that's always attached to Boom Boom from here on out. He's always the mad lad. You know, that's what he is now. Anyway, uh, Yoshi Hill. Um, yeah, the pace I'm going, we're totally getting through Acorn Plains in this episode. Um, I don't think I want to do hour-long episodes, but I definitely think that I'd want to try and get at least Acorn Plains done in the first episode. If it takes an hour, so be it, you know? Um, anyway... Uh, Yoshi! Yeah, let's talk about Yoshi. Um, oh, right. I always forget how I'm supposed to, you know, actually get up there. Um, anyway. Yoshi, in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, um, the big thing with Yoshi is I wonder, um, <laughs> wonder... I wonder if he's just a playable character, or if he's actually, like, a power-up. Because we see Yoshi with his own, like, life counter, and we see a bunch of different Yoshis all together with no other characters. So it makes me wonder, you know... I mean, I guess, theoretically, he could be, straight up, just... Um... He could straight up just, you know, be a playable character. You know, maybe he's a power-up like you turn into a Yoshi, but I guess if I really had to make a guess, I think based off of what we have, I'm suspecting that he's kind that Yoshi is going to be like the Toadette easy mode of, you know, Mario Wonder, but the fact that other players can ride on him makes me question that assertion. Um Statement. Assertion? Is it an assertion? I wasn't really, like, asserting it, you know. Um, it, it was... I was still speculative, so maybe it's just a statement. I don't know. Um, I mean... But, yeah. So, but I do think that he's probably in easy mode, but just, like, instead of carrying people, like, picking them up with, you know, by standing next to them and, you know, pressing the R button... You know, he's... People can just ride on Yoshi's back. I don't know. Um... As long as it... And it doesn't seem like there's timers in levels. Um... Because timers are outdated. Uh... <clears throat> is that one up? Yeah. Um... I don't think there's enough berries left before the end to get another power-up, so... Okay. I always have to attempt that jump like a couple times. No, 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 Yoshi. Uh, yeah, I always have to attempt the jump up here like twice at least, just cause. I mean, I could probably make it without using Yoshi, um, because I have the squirrel suit. Um, wait, why did I even do that? There's no star coins up there. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, but if Yoshi is playable, I'm really excited for that to happen. Um, I really like Yoshi. Yoshi is probably my favorite Mario character, um, mostly because I grew up. Um, mostly it's because I grew up uh, borrowing my... Uh, I borrowed, you know, my sister's DS, you know... And, like, the first game that I, you know, and eventually she was done with it. Like, she didn't have much interest in the DS anymore. And so, you know, she basically gave it to me. Um, either that or I just got my own. Um, and she gave me her old games. I forget which. Um, but, you know, you know, so, but the first game that was actually mine, like, that wasn't one of hers that I borrowed, um was Super Mario 64 DS, and, uh, you know, and of course, instead of playing as Mario, you play as four different characters, but you start off playing as Yoshi, and the fact is, is my favorite color is green, um, and Yoshi was green, and, uh, you know, and, like, Yoshi just seems so cool as a dinosaur, so it's like, um... 
so it's just like one of those things where it's like it kind of created an you know, and soon after, um, either it was because I loved Yoshi, or maybe it was just a case of uh, another game that I had interest in, um, I got Yoshi's Island DS, um, and that also further, you know, I never actually beat the game because I thought it was too difficult as a kid, um, but, um, and honestly I got scared every time I would get hit and lose Baby Mario for even a second, but, um, but still, uh, you know, it further developed, like, my relationship with Yoshi. Um, and now, honestly, I would say that Yoshi, maybe Luigi, and Koopa Troopa are probably, like, the Mario characters I would say are like, yeah, those are my favorites, you know? Um, and Koopa Troopa is more of, like, a Mario Party, Mario Kart pick rather than, like, a, you know, I just like them. It's more so, like, I like them in Mario Party and Mario Kart. Um, like, uh, you know, they're more to a go-to pick for that, but I would say that Yoshi, um, maybe Luigi are, like, you know, kind of in competition for top pick. I think Luigi benefits by being in more games, but even still, I gotta, I, I really love Yoshi. Um... I think it's because Yoshi played so uniquely, no matter what game he was playable in, at least when I was, you know, growing up, you know. So it just felt like Yoshi had such cool abilities, like the flutter jump, you know, and like, you know, swallowing stuff, making it eggs, throwing the eggs, you know. Really, stuff that just, like, amazed me compared to, like, Fireball, you know. Like... So that's kind of why Yoshi gets to be considered my favorite, but Luigi is probably, you know, a good close second type option. Um, but, I don't know, I'm still trying to concentrate just a bit on getting some of the, uh, one-ups anyway. <laughs> I did terribly. Um... Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I... I guess I just really like Yoshi. Um, and I think this game, too, uh, uh, You Eat Soup, really helps, um... Really helped me with, uh... It really helped with, uh... With my love for Yoshi further, because the baby Yoshis also had unique abilities that were just for the baby Yoshis, you know? So, um, but yeah, I really like Yoshi. Um, I like a lot of Mario characters. I think we all can agree that Mario, it's like nobody's favorite is Mario, per se. You know, it's like, compared to like Zelda or like, you know... Pokemon, maybe somebody could say they like Mario as a series, but I don't think anyone is like, Mario is my favorite, you know, Mario Bros. character. You know, it's like, everyone's probably either like, I like Bowser because, you know, he's a bad guy and he's tough and strong, but he's also a big softy, you know, just wants to, you know, have a wedding with Peach or whatever, right, you know? Um, or we can all say like, you know, hey, I really like, you know, Donkey Kong, because, you know, uh, you know, he's the leader of the bunch and you know him well. Um, um, or you can say, hey, I really like Luigi because he's the underdog, you know, he's the, he's the little bro, you know, he gets left in the shadow, you know. Um, you know, I think the thing is, is that Luigi has character and personality, whereas I would say Mario doesn't. He, like, we know he's a hero, he's brave, you know, and he never gives up. But I would say Luigi, because of his ma the Luigi's Mansion games, Luigi just has so much more character and, like, you know, we have more chances to see him react in such, you know, such ways. Um, okay, I'm always scared whenever I have to let go of my, my baby Yoshi um, for the sake of... Uh, getting something, like, by using a fireball or whatever. 
Uh, go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> that was close. Um, but yeah. Um. Anyway, I think that's the end of the Yoshi discussion. I really like Yoshi. Uh, I'm a big, I'm not a big Toad fan. Um, Captain Toad is pretty okay. Um, I'm personally more of like a Princess Peach fan of like... You know, if given the choice, I'd probably rather play as Peach versus, uh, Toad. You know? But maybe that's just me. Uh, and it's not because Toads are generic, I just think it's like their designs don't resonate with me as much as, like, Yoshi or, you know. But I prefer to play as Toads over Mario, just because, again, I feel like Mario suffers from, like, generic sin generic hero syndrome, or generic hero-itis, or whatever. It's like, is it a syndrome? I think it's a syndrome. Whatever. Um, the point being that just, like, Mario doesn't have much going for him. Um, like, in terms of just getting to know him as a character, we don't do a whole lot of that. We know he's determined, and we know he, you know, he never gives up, and, you know, but, like, yeah, that's kind of it, in my opinion, you know? Um, like, he's just too much of, like, the perfect, you know, hero type person, I would say. Um, but, you know, I think that's good for a protagonist, and I think it helps, you know, Bowser be more fleshed out, you know? Um, I think it helps that Mario is kind of like, you know, Luigi's cowardice I don't think would work so well if Mario wasn't there to be the older brother who's brave and, you know, strong, you know? Um, this isn't meant to be a, you know, study on, like, the relationship of the Mario Bros. This was just idle conversation topics as we make our way through the castle, and look at that, we're already at the boss of Acorn Plains. Lemmy Koopa! My personal favorite Koopaling. Um. So. I mean. Yeah. Lemmy is my favorite Koopaling. Uh, purely because, um. Bouncy Ball. Um. He has a orange-yellow shell. And, uh. He has. It's not really rainbow hair. It's just, uh. Primary color hair. Um, and his magic is orangish yellow. Um, not to be confused with his yellowish orange shell. Um, anyway. Um, in this game, his, he's, this is probably one of the weakest appearances he's ever had. Like, in Mario 3, I forget if his balls can damage you. I think they can. Um... In Mario World, he doesn't even use them, but at least there's some danger because of the lava bubble and running into him on accident. Um, in We Eat Soup, uh, he's on an icy platform and can his balls will bounce you off. And in uh, New Soup 2, he um, he's on a conveyor belt with... Also, I believe... Are there spikes above? I haven't played New Soup 2 in a long time. Anyway, um, but in this game, he throws bombs, which you can bounce on, and are still dangerous, but just he doesn't have enough going for him. It makes sense why he made him the boss of the first world. Uh, and that does it for Acorn Plains, so I guess we'll head to the next area next time! But for now, my name has been and will be tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and it always will be Pun Food. I guess you could say that Lemmy Koopa had to bounce. <laughs>